Welcome and we start on the 4th Postal Inspectors and Hoover Police this afternoon trying to figure out who cut holes in these mailboxes and stole mail right out of those collection boxes. Until now we haven't seen post office boxes with holes cut into them to steal the mail. Our Tristan Rupert is live. Tristan, there are consequences, but first police have to catch the crooks. That's right, Sarah, and there are large consequences if police do apprehend these individuals, and that's because anyone that's found guilty of these actions could face up to five years in prison and a fine as large as $250,000. And again, it's because the U.S. Postal Service is a federal office or agency, and that's why this is a federal crime. Now, if the individual or group is found, local attorney Roger Appel says their background will likely be a huge factor in just how long they will serve in federal prison. Now, Appel stresses the thieves could serve up to five years just for taking the mail, but the value of what was taken could lead to additional state charges. Just the taking of the mail itself is one thing, but if there's, let's say there's a social security check in there or government um, uh, funds, that could be an additional charge. You can also have state charges for theft of property. So it could be a very um, problematic uh, situation for somebody that could be facing state and federal charges for stealing the mail. And if the items are worth more than $2,500 in value in the state of Alabama, the thieves could face state felony charges that could also lead up to 20 years in prison. And according to Appel, these sentences could actually be served consecutively. So these individuals, if caught, could face a lengthy jail sentence. Reporting in Jefferson County, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.